Hey there YouTubers, this is Andy with RC Journeys, where every day is a journey. Um, I got a comment the other day, I uploaded uh, the LS2 coils from MP Boosted. Um, I did an update on um, how I was having a problem with hot starts, I thought it was the coils, blah, blah, blah. but it turned out to be the uh, ECU just had to adjust to the uh, coils. Um, so someone comment um okay i saw a cold st cold start so how about let's see a hot start well here you are the car's running and um i will shut it off and we'll start it we are at 130,000 miles on this car um i will shut it off and then we'll turn it back on for a hard start here we go all right car is off it's starting to rain but here you guys go. So there's your hot start. Starts right up. Um, I hope that answers any of your questions. Whoever left a comment for hot start. Um, I did hear if you are having a problem with hot, start, hot starts. Can't say that word. Um, the, there's a thing you can do. You can connect a switch to the fuel pump. Once you do that. You... Um, it's an on and off switch for the fuel pump. So while this, this is the guy from Moztech that works on my cars when I need him to work on it. He's a, um, been a long time mechanic for road engines. This is Moztech in Florida. But um, anyway, he told me if you did have a problem like that, you can always hook up a switch to the fuel pump. It cuts the fuel pump off. So basically when you park the car and you're fixing to get out, instead of turning off the key, you kill the switch, you kill the fuel pump switch. But when you get back into the car, you gotta remember to turn it back on because then you're like, oh my God, my car doesn't start. So before you, when you get back in the car, before you start the car, you turn the switch back on, which in turn gives power to the fuel pump and you can start the car. So I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do it. I'm letting you guys know. I haven't done it myself because I don't have that problem yet but for you guys that have that problem you might want to try that out and this is a trusted Moztech dealer his name's Jeff he's been uh, working at Moz or he owns Moztech he's been there for years um, but you can try that try that fuel pump and it makes total sense because before you shut the car off it's leaving gas inside your um, it's flooding gas inside the uh, the chamber inside the motor so if you kill the the uh, switch which kills the fuel pump before you shut the car off it eliminates all the gas that's in there so it doesn't flood or whatever it is problem is with hot starts the engine expands everything expands because it's so hot and after a while so do your gaskets your seals everything else expands that's why you have to let it cool down for a little while so everything goes back into shape these things are plastic rubber you know um, gaskets some of them made of paper whatever everything goes back to its, its uh, regular shape when the car cools down then you can crank the car and it starts right up but when it's hot and you're having that hot start problem everything is so expanded there's no compression so the car doesn't want to start but anyway um, this is Andy from use from uh, RC journeys um, you might want to look that up check it out one of you guys want to get busy and try to do it Go ahead maybe you guys can post a video about it but this was your hot start um thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and this is andy from rc journeys where every day's a journey take it easy guys